It's an all-Alaska operation. Marathon's Kenai Refinery. It turns Alaska oil into quality transportation fuels. It distributes these fuels from the Kiski to North Pole through a series of pipelines, terminals, and service stations. An all-Alaskan workforce operates the refinery, which is one of the Kenai Peninsula's largest taxpayers and community boosters. It's been a great economic opportunity for the area and an opportunity for kids to have a career, really, with a great company. And they've done this for a half a century with a steady and local workforce. Over the years, you know, gas and oil has been up and down and all over the place here in the borough, and it's a huge thing for our community. But the refinery has always been there. The Kenai Refinery turning Alaska crude into fuels that move Alaska. Built the year Alaska got rich of its North Slope leases, Cook Inlet was in its prime, producing 225,000 barrels of oil each day. The state of Alaska took steps to establish partnerships to use Cook Inlet's oil specifically for utilization inside of Alaska. Tesoro, at the time a small company from San Antonio with holdings in Trinidad, stepped up to the plate. The company moved quickly with construction of the refinery and opened for business in November 1969. The refinery was operated by a staff of 17. And at the time, they were receiving and processing oil from Cook Inlet's onshore and offshore fields at a pace of 17,500 barrels per day. We only manufactured jet fuel and diesel fuels. The real attraction to me to come to Alaska for the changes and having new equipment. To Sorrell's founder, Robert West, said this, we put significant money into the Alaska refinery. Our initial investment in the Kenai refinery was close to $20 million. Over the next five years, the Kenai refinery built a pipeline to deliver products directly to the Anchorage Airport and the Port of Anchorage and diversified its product lines. By 1979, the Kenai Refinery was a shining light in Tesaro's wide-flung assets. Cook Inlet oil production peaked in 1970, but was soon dwarfed by the North Slope when oil started moving down the Trans-Alaska Pipeline. The Kenai Refinery became the first to refine North Slope crude. Over the years of operation, substantial improvements have been made to the refinery's facilities, expanding its capacity and complexity, reaching up to 72,000 barrels of oil per day. The company has always taken pride in its exceptional safety record. When I worked out there, they were very safety conscious. They were always uh, concerned about employee safety, and I think their safety program is even miles ahead of where it was back then and advances that have been made we're really proud of is a safety culture we have here that people take home with them. Safety is part of our core values that never changes. The refinery's workforce is made up of over 250 employees and contractors, and it supports many local and statewide nonprofits. Additionally, it pays millions annually in taxes. They've been a great asset to the Kenai Peninsula, and they just have a bunch of great Alaskans working here. You know, and the interesting thing is about employees out at the refineries, it's clear that they take a lot of pride in their work that they do at the refinery. And they're, they're proud to say that they work for Marathon at the Kenai Refinery. That teamwork that you see inside the refinery, it's really inspiring. And I, I can be proud to be part of this team. The employees uh, take environmental stewardship very seriously. They really care about uh, any effect that we have on the environment around us they are always going to work very hard towards protecting the environment. Hundreds of millions have been invested over the years to improve its environmental performance. Most recently, 44 million was invested to reduce gas flare flow by 50%, and the company was the first to position a tractor tug year-round at Nikiski. The safety of this community and the environmental performance has been exemplary, and I expect that to continue. In the last few years, the Kenai Refinery has changed its name, but that change has not altered its commitment to better serve Alaska.
Further purchases were made of the Flint Hill Fuel Storage Terminal, as well as the ConocoPhillips LNG facility. We've been a, a reliable supplier of gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel to the state of Alaska for decades now. Energy matters to the state. It matters to the residents, to the government, to the businesses. We find that incredibly important. I can't think of a better partner, a better community partner, a better corporate partner to have on the Kenai. After 50 years, you guys have done an awesome job, part of our community. Happy 50th anniversary, Kenai Refinery. Happy anniversary, Kenai Refinery. Happy 50th to the Kenai Refinery. Happy 50th anniversary. And we're looking towards the future. And many more to come. Thanks for being part of our community and our economy. It's great to have you. Congratulations, Kenai Refinery, on 50 great years.